Hi everybody, today we're going to learn how to import data into the CRM. When we log in, this is our home screen here, and on our right hand side, we see this import option under settings. We click on that, and that brings us to a new tab. Now in this tab, we can either import our data from an Excel file or a CSV file. So we're going to go with Excel for today. So once we click that, it brings us to another new tab here, and we can choose our file. So we select the file that we want to import, and then we hit select, and it'll update our page here. Now we can either choose to import this under leads and contacts, or just strictly contacts. It's going to depend on how you utilize your CRM. For today's purposes, it's going to go under leads and contacts for me. Before you import your data, you always want to make sure that you, if you have any date fields in your file, it is set up to always be in, in this particular format, the month, month, day, day, year, 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 year format, or else it'll have problems on the import. On the right hand side here, we can select a group, we can choose to add it to an existing group, or we can make a new one. For today, we're going to make a brand new one. I'm going to name this test group two. Hit save. Now the status, the default status that we have in the serum are lead, prospect, and customer. Uh, you will select the status based on how you have your workflows set up, and that will depend on uh, how you utilize the CRM once again. Today we're going to put them as a lead. Uh, the source, you have some default, default sources that are built in for you, such as cold call, email campaigns, networking events, so on and so forth. Today I'm going to make a new source. I'm going to click Add List, and I'm just going to name it the same thing as I have my group name as. Now I'm going to click Save. Now below here is where we're going to map our fields. On the left hand side here, these are the headers in your file that you're going to import. On the right in these drop down boxes are the names of the fields in the CRM. I would always highly recommend doing this manually because uh, in my experience the data and mapping is always can be very finicky, so it's always best to do it yourself. Uh, so our first column here is named company. If we click our drop down box, you can see companies right here. Uh, first name, there's the first name field. Last name would be the same. And then email. And now these fields are mapped. Below this is that we have do not check for duplicates or check for duplicates. I'd always highly re recommend using the check for duplicates option. If duplicates found, what do you want it to do? Do you not want it to import? or you can import the duplicates and just have them being marked as a duplicate as well. Uh, I would highly recommend just not importing them. When you can click import now. You'll get a dialog box confirming the amount of entries you are importing into the CRM. You are going to then click OK. You'll be brought to this menu saying as a confirmation request and you will receive an email uh, when your import is complete you can import up to 10,000 contacts at one time. 